break. We'll come back in hour number two, run down news, rumors, um, Samoa Joe's suspension from TNA, and uh, a bunch of other shit. Caller, you're live on WZR Radio. What's, uh, where are you from? What's on your mind? What's up, buddy? Caller, you're live. 863, area code, you're live. Talk to me. Say come something. on, baby dolls. <laughs> Say something, buddy. You're gone. Three, two, two one. See ya. Get out of here. All right. Let's Got try on? this one. Caller, you're live on WZR Radio. What's your name? Where you from? Hey. hey. Hello? Hey. Yo, hey. What's up, buddy? My, my name is Rusty. What's up? What's up, Russ? Hey, um, I just wanted to say go fuck yourself. Yeah, you go fuck yourself too, bitch. Anything else? Anything else, buddy? Nothing? Oh. Guess he... Can't get his tongue. That's it. That sucked. With a name like Rusty. Who names their kid Rusty? Crusty Rusty. Rusty Rusty, right? (laughs) (laughs) Crusty Rusty Wallace, baby. WZRonline.com slash chat. Once again, WZRonline.com slash chat. See, some people call call up and say, go fuck yourself. And then you say, go fuck yourself back. And then... I mean, they've been listening to the whole show, though. And they hang up, right? So, I mean, that sucked. That wasn't good. I mean... I was giving him a chance to reply, you know what I mean? So, that's the best time, but I'm saying, like, he's still listening to the show to be able to call in and talk to us, so... That's how it is, you know what I mean? Fuck him. Thanks. Exactly. Uh, Any more calls? Uh, no, we're all right for right now. WZRonline.com slash chat. Once again, WZRonline.com slash chat. Here he is. I think he is. Is this him again? Let's give him another shot. Actually, I don't don't know if this is him. Is it him? Call you live on WZR Radio. What's up? Speak to me this time. Yo. Caller. Buddy, you got to talk, dude, or you got to stop calling. What's the deal? You scared? Don't, don't be know. scared. I don't know, man. It keeps calling. I don't know. All right. Well, let me ask Let me ask you real fast, man. What did you think of, uh, I mean, I'll just, I mean, I know it's 500, but so what did you think of the top 10 in the PWI's rustlers? Uh, I'd have to go review the list, man. You got the top 10 real quick. Uh, yes, hey, I do. Styles, uh, AJ was number one, I think, AJ, right? Yeah, AJ was number one, Cena, yeah. number two, Punk, number three, Orton, number four, Jericho, five, Batista, six. All right, slow, 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 slow. All right, number one was AJ. AJ Styles. No, I'm right. uh, John Cena, we had John Cena at number two. John Cena at number two. I know. I mean, this is the thing. I don't understand. It's, it's the list. This whole list is a little bit of a joke. I mean, what are they really judging? Well, by? Yeah, what are they judging? I'd have to go. I don't know. I mean, I know they release that list every year, but if you're talking, if you're, I mean, obviously they're not talking about pure wrestling, I guess. They can't be. I mean, uh, that's what I was asking. Is yeah, and, then, and then you've got, if, if, they've got, if they've got Batista at number six. six, I mean, it can't be mic skills, because his mic skills are a joke. Exactly. Um, yeah. I can't, oh. I can't, I can't, is it, if is, is it the fact if you're over? Well, or I, would say, I, would, I would say, I mean, AJ Styles doesn't have mic skills either, so if no. you're going, if you're going all around, if you're basically saying mic skills, in skills, you wouldn't have AJ as number one. You sure as hell wouldn't have Batista at number six as far as promo uh, skills are concerned. Exactly. And, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I mean, but what else? We got Punk at number three. I agree with that. That's fine. I, me too. Orton at four. That's good. That's cool. Jericho at five. That's, That's good. That's where I think Jericho should have been ahead of Punk. Uh, yeah, I'm going to agree with you on that. And um, they got Batista at six. Shinsuke Namaro or N- Namaru or Namara at seven, Undertaker at eight, Angle at nine, and Sheamus at ten. I mean, you've got eight. yeah, you've got Angle at nine, nine. Angle at nine, and then you've got so you've got CM Punk ahead of Angle. I don't like got, that. You've got Batista. God, you've got Batista ahead of Angle at six. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but even the Undertaker. I mean, Undertaker eight. I mean, I'd have him a little bit higher than that. I mean, I mean, well, lower. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'd have Taker lower, lower than. Lower, yeah, that's I'd what I meant. Like, like past ten. Fifteen. Exactly. I mean, and I mean, some some names that I thought should have been on here is Rob Van Dam, Edge, Triple H. I'm, you know, yeah, I'm, you know what? I I would love. I just don't know what that list is based off of. Huh. But I, I looked it up, but I couldn't find nothing. I, I mean, the only thing I found about it was some, uh, you know, just some forums talking about it, and nobody really seemed to know there either. So hmm. I don't know if it's maybe it's overall. I you know with everything involved, but I still don't see how Batista's on that list then or. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that list just seems like a bunch of bullshit. I mean, I know they release it every year, but I mean, you got to understand that that's, I mean, that's probably one guy 
that's that's doing that or a group of guys, maybe just a few guys that put that list together. I mean, it's one man's opinion, you know, exactly. I mean, where I could make a list up and, and people are going to disagree, but I'm guessing that it's just one man's opinion or a few guys that, that put together that list and then... Just, like I said, just a couple of those names are just a little surprising, you know? Yeah, yeah, especially, well, Batista at number six is fucking crazy. You know? Yeah, I mean, that guy should be maybe... 190. Hey, we <laughs> are we are at nine o'clock Eastern time on the East Coast over here in Albany, New York, right? What time yes, is it there in Detroit? It's nine, nine o'clock in Detroit, right. Michigan. All right, no doubt. That means we've got to go to a commercial break. I have got a piss like a racehorse. Been holding it in here for like 20 <laughs> minutes, my man. I'm about to get up and bounce straight to that toilet. I'm so right there with him. <laughs> with that being said, we'll be back. For hour number two here in just a few minutes, we're going to play a quick quick song or two for you. Come back on the flip side, run down news, rumors, taking your live phone calls as well. We'll give out the number after the break. You are listening to WZR Radio with Chris Holler and Ryan Clark. We'll be back right after this for hour number two. And we're back, WZR Radio here for hour numero dos. I'm Ryan Yo. Clark. I'm Ryan Clark. He's Chris Holler. You. That's me. <laughs> What's good? Uh, we got to do something at the end. See, when I say, man. Oh, yeah, we got to figure this out. And, yeah, I know. And for Chris Holler, that's, that's me. Boy. This is Ryan Clark. That's him. You got to say. Okay, I got you now. Off. You got me, playa. I got you. I'm, I was going to plot a woo. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Clark. Woo. Ah, yes. We are back for hour number two, wzronline.com slash chat. Let's do a couple chat shout-outs real quick. Leave the... Leave you got to do this, man, because my shit keeps going black. Leave that open. All right. Uh, here we go, chat Jeremy. shout-outs. Yes, sir. Uh, um, I got a bunch of shit going on in the back of me. Uh, so here we go. Chat shout-outs. We have Rumple for Skin, Nene, Drew, Randall, J.R. Cash, Shop Tallman, The Peco, Mike Cosby, Ace is in there. Is uh, Mike Crosby, Nitro, Bo69, yeah, Erico130, Brock Owens, UFC, TNA12, Killer B, uh, Hobbit, TNA's Whack, <laughs> uh, Heavy Hitter is in there, The People's Champ is in there, TNA12, Peter, Peter Pickle, Mary. Peter Pickle picked Pecker. Or something. Uh, TV, <laughs> TV Sports dot net. TV Sports. DJ Thriller twelve oh seven. Drew Future Terror is in there. Uh, who else? If I missed anybody else, I'll let get you guys at the uh, at the end of the show. But get to the live chat room right now. WZRonline dot com slash chat. George two five one five. I see you, buddy. Antmaster one oh one. I see you too. Uh, WWE, so get in there, wzronline.com slash chat, live chat room on and popping right now, and if you want to call us up live, ask us anything that is on your mind tonight, we are taking live phone calls for the entire duration of hour number two, it is, without a doubt, five, dude, five one without a doubt, dude, it is, <laughs> 712-3070. Give us a call at any point during our number two. Are we taking one or are we going to... Call or you are live on WCR Radio. What's, uh, <laughs> which name are you from? Uh, this is Ben and Jim from Charlotte, North Carolina. What's going on, buddy? Well, uh, i got a question for you guys. Sure. Uh, Nitro Bo Icar uh, called you guys up, and he issued a challenge to Mike Quackenbush. Hey, I thought he should have been on PWI. Excuse me? I said Mike Quackenbush should have been on PWI. Well, uh, y'all told y'all told uh, Nitro Bo, okay, we'll 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 talk to him. We'll you know get him here. We'll do something. And you guys just haven't been online. He tried to call you last week, and then y'all hang up on him. Uh, you know, before you even says anything, uh, you know, so, I mean, what, what's what's going on? What's up with this? I mean, Quackenbush evidently is a pussy because, uh, you know, he's not defending his title. He won't defend his title. He won't return telephone calls. He won't answer email. So, now, you tell me what's going on. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now. Number one, 
I'm not a promoter, okay? Number, number <laughs> one, I'm, I'm not, well, I'm not, okay? So I can't, I don't, I don't book matches. I don't put together matches. I'm not a promoter. I don't do that stuff. Number two, it's not that Mike Quagenbush is not defending his title. I believe he defended it last weekend against somebody. It's probably that this is some, and this is just from me, I, I don't know this, but it's probably some no-name promotion that you guys are, are basically trying to plug on this radio show. And it's basically a no-name promotion and a no-name wrestler. I have no idea who the guy was that called up. But nonetheless, Mike Quackenbush is probably thinking the same fucking thing, man. Who the fuck? I don't have time for people like this. You know what I mean? That's, See, that's, that's what the deal is. Quackenbush evidently don't have time for anybody. Because it's not that, well, it's not that he doesn't have time for anybody because he wrestled last weekend, my man. So. Uh, he hides behind his promotion and does not defend the title. Well, he's with uh, the so N he's with the is. NWA. Uh, I mean, can we force him? Is is he supposed to be forced into basically wrestling some jobber that nobody gives a fuck about? Nobody knows who the fuck he is. <laughs> I mean, Mike Quackenbush could probably care less. You know what I'm saying, my man? Well, my thing is, I talked to. NWA promoters also, right? Uh, even here in Charlotte, they don't. They the NWA is not even in Charlotte anymore for the very simple reason because they're not worth a damn. Okay, they can't promote shows here. People's not going to see them. People's well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that the NWA isn't worth a damn. I mean, the NWA is is obviously well, they are somewhere else, but they're not here. I talked to promoters that were doing it here. Yeah, but what is? Uh, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. What is the name of the promotion that whoever whoever this guy is? Give me the name of of the promotion, and I guarantee. I mean, I I, I don't know. I, I have no idea what what the promotion is. I have no idea who this wrestler is, and Mike Quackenbush well, has no idea. It's a lot of championship wrestling. CCW. Okay. I am the CEO and the president and the okay. promoter. Okay. Of this cool. organization. Right. And if you would ask uh, Phil Shatter. Who is the NWA national champion? He'll tell you who I am because he knows he's worked for me before. Okay, so what do, what do you want? Okay, what, what do you want? What do you want from me? I mean, is this going to continue? Where you guys? I, I think what this is all about, my man, is we've got a we've got a fairly large internet radio show, and we get no name talent from your promotion, which is let's be honest, it's not a. It's not a major promotion, right? And I just don't think that our fans, fans of this radio show, and Mike Quackenbush himself, I just don't think they could give a fuck in the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this continues on and continues on, and we just, the fans of WZR Radio, the people in the chat room, I mean, we could basically give a fuck and I think this is all about this is all about cheap promotion for an indie wrestling company that is nothing and likely never will be anything. Remember, that's it. We're I did, what the fuck did he want for us to do? That, did he, I mean, I got Mike Quackenbush on speed dial. Let me get him on the phone real fast. Hold I on. don't know. That Mike Quackenbush could give a fuck. He could give a flying fuck. We don't care. I don't care. CCW, I've never heard of this fucking promotion. It'll Try always to... be a no-name promotion. And the, and the fact is, we're giving it a plug right now. So. I know. And it... I might think no Quackenbush was just in a fight. I think. I mean, like a month, ago, like less than a month ago, the last weekend or or <laughs> weeks ago, or something crazy like that. So it's not that he's dodging you. It's just that he doesn't give a fuck because this is a no name jobber from a no name promotion. It's not worth his time. Let's be honest. I hundred percent agree right? with you, buddy. I mean, and uh, you. I'm not gonna lie, man. You gave him a little bit of a burn right there, man. You just called him out. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It's my show. I'll do what the fuck I, I, I feel you, dude. It was funny 